We begin in Lebanon, where the country's finance minister is quitting the government. He was key in negotiating a rescue package with the International Monetary Fund. In the past 24 hours alone, four ministers have quit the government, increasing pressure on the embattled Prime Minister Hassan Diab following last week's blast in the capital. For more, let's go across to France 24's Leila Molana Allen standing by in Beirut. Leila, how long can this government last? Well, it appears that the government may not last much longer at all. Uh, we had our fifth government uh, resignation over the last week, but of course the fourth since the explosion. Uh, just before this meeting, Hazi Wazni, the finance minister, he then put that resignation on hold during the meeting because, of course, uh, many think that Prime Minister Hassan Diab is going to resign himself. He has been saying this morning messages being put out from his office. Uh, that he might do so. They are currently negotiating what's going to happen. He had said in this meeting uh, on that was broadcast on Saturday during the protests, he gave a public speech in which he said uh, that he was willing to hold on for two more months and he was going to call for early elections. He was going to submit that to the cabinet today. But we then saw uh, three cabinet resignations yesterday and today, the information minister, the environment minister and the justice minister this morning, all of whom apologized to the Lebanese people for not fulfilling their expectations and said they were doing so out of respect for all those dead and injured from the explosion. Uh, now, there are two ways that the government could fall apart. Either Hassan Diab could resign himself after this meeting, or if more than a third of his ministers resign, he then cannot have a constructive government anymore. He cannot continue, and the government will fall. Now, we've already seen, as I say, uh, five, if we include Wazni, who says he is going to resign after the meeting, is put that on postponement till after the meeting. So only two more would be needed to hit that third uh, for the government to fall apart anyway. Now, the question is, if Hassan Diab does resign, the cabinet can themselves nominate a new prime minister. And the name going around is Nawaf Salam, who is a former Lebanese uh, ambassador to the UN, very popular, and many wanted him to be prime minister last time. But whether he would accept with a cabinet that's swiftly falling apart at the seams is unclear. And Leila, what's the latest on the investigation? And is it a process that the, the Lebanese people have faith in? It absolutely is not a process the Lebanese people have faith in. They haven't had faith in it since the start, the majority of them, from everything that I'm hearing uh, from contacts and from people on the street. Uh, the way they speak about it is with ridicule, really, the very idea that, that this government, which they believe, uh, are, as well as successive governments, is responsible for this tragedy, uh, would actually be looking into this correctly. And, of course, uh, President Michel Aoun this weekend tweeted that he felt that international calls for an independent international uh, investigation into this were a waste of time. That was incredibly anger-making for many people. Uh, the government has done nothing to help with the cleanup process on the streets and very little to help with the rescue operation. Instead, they have been pointing fingers at each other, uh, many people keen to blame, lots of others except themselves. And really what's happened so far is all these heads of the port have been put under house arrest since just after the explosion, and they're being pursued, as well as the owner of that ship that was abandoned in 2013 with the ammonium nitrate on it. But for many people, this is not an issue of the people who run the port, who say that they sent at least 10 letters to successive governments warning them about this danger. And President Aoun himself has admitted that he received a letter in July warning him that says he has no control over the port. So many people feel that this is a, the biggest exemplar of this dysfunctional government that does not work for the people and the people who need to be punished are the people at the top, not simply people who run the port, who are people who were doing their job and did alert the authorities many times to this situation. Okay, so everyone blaming everybody else. Leila, thank you very much for the update. Leila Mulana Allen reporting there from Beirut.